In Psalms 105, verse 40, it talks about abundance. It says, They asked, and he brought quails and gave them bread from heaven in abundance. You hold to the faith of God that God is your source. You hold to the faith that abundance is always ready to come forth from God. Now this requires denying thoughts of lack and replacing those with an affirmation that abundance is everywhere manifest in your life. You fill your mind with the consciousness that divine abundance is always ready to come forth. When others talk about lack, you don't buy into it. You don't join their conversation, even in thought. You affirm abundance all the more persistently. You have faith in the bounty of God. You see substance everywhere, and you affirm its presence, not only for yourself, but also for everyone else. Plenty is here. It is all around us. And when we open our spiritual eyes, we see it and we rejoice. I want you to think of God as not only your source of health and good, but also as your source of economics. There is an omnipresent economic mind that will guide you. And if a person begins to deal with this economic mind, they will have a partner in all their resources. I would say to everyone that wants to demonstrate prosperity, take God into partnership with you. God is my partner, and God is the first partner, the boss, in this ministry and in every aspect of my life. I ask you to take God into partnership with you, too, and you will demonstrate abundance because God always knows how. God always knows a way, and God will show you the way even when you can't believe it at first. It'll prove itself. God bless you.